Here we have Jeb, patient, patient Jeb. Jeb's been with us for a while, um, uh, about a month now. He's uh, an adult and he's uh, neutered, up to date on his shots so far, and he was a stray, um, came in from animal control. He's just looking for his forever Christmas home. And this is Narnia. Narnia's a little calico. Uh, she's hiding back there, but she's really very, very friendly. She came to us as lost. Um, just a couple weeks ago, she's looking for her forever home. Um, she's uh, actually not a calico. She's considered a tortoise shell. She's a little female. Um, and she's also spayed and up to date on her shots. She actually came to us spayed, so somebody took very good care of her. Okay, here we have Mint and Allie. They have rabbit fur, they're unusual kitty colored, uh, very friendly siblings, came to us as um, uh, lost from the public. The public found them wandering around somewhere. They were in long-term foster with uh, Purdue when Purdue was up a few months back and, and they am um, looking for their forever home. They're also up to date on their shots and both of them are fixed. And here we have Minka. Minka's a young man who's just been recently neutered. Um, and you can tell he's all black. He's very friendly, up to date on his shots, and looking for his forever home. He was at Fulton County Vet before he came to us, so he's waiting for his home. And here we have Becky. Becky's a playful little girl. Becky's also spayed. Purdue came Monday and spayed and neutered all of our animals, so we got really lucky there. And, and Becky's also looking for her forever home. She's a young young girl, uh, very friendly, up to date on her shots, and, and ready to go. Okay, King is a big boy and very friendly, and um, we make a nice little couch potato along with the one you're gonna see next, Miss Kitty. But uh, he was also neutered by Purdue and is looking for his forever home, up to date on shots. Um, he's a big boy and he's very, very friendly. Okay, and here we have Miss Kitty. Miss Kitty was owner surrender. Her owner had some health issues, some really bad health issues. So she didn't, wasn't too happy when she first came here. She's done a complete turnaround. Begging to go home to someone's house would make a beautiful little couch um, addition. Uh, a lap kitty, very friendly, very loving, um, and she's also spayed. This is Michonne. Uh, Michonne came into us as a stray. Uh, she's loving, curious, playful. She does just fine with dogs and cats, um, as well as kids. Um, should we assume that she has Bombay in her because of the color of her eyes. Okay, here we have Odin and Buddy. Od Odin is the one with the white paw up on Buddy's back. Odin came in, they both came in astray from the public, and Odin had a couple of others that I was fostering at the time, and he had siblings to play with. He lost them all yesterday, so he was a little lonely, and Buddy came in yesterday, also a little lonely, so I put them together, and there they are cuddling and socializing with each other. They are not neutered and available for adoption. Their fee will be $10. Okay, here we have Sheena. Sheena came in as owner surrendered, uh, with four babies, three or four babies. Uh, babies all found homes. She is waiting for her forever home. She got spayed by Purdue on Monday, so her fee will be 20. And she again, she too is looking for her forever home. Okay, here we have Jinx. Jinx is looking pretty lazy at the moment. Um, Jinx would make a good uh, uh, cat for someone who doesn't want someone in his lap all the time. He's not a lap cat. He is neutered and ready for his forever home and up to date on his shots. Um, he's pretty friendly. He's just not a pick-me-up type cat and he's ready to, to go. His adoption fee has been sponsored so his fee is zero. Dina is a young female also spayed by Purdue on, on Monday and looking for her forever home. She's very friendly. Um, actually would make a nice little lap cat for somebody. Just looking for her forever home. She's considered a dilute calico as well. Dina, do you have anything to say? Uh. 
This is Patty. Patty was originally came from us as a lost and stray about a year or so ago. Um, has returned to us due to the owner having some health issues. Patty needs a women home with women or a woman. Um, she's uh, chases just about everything, and she's scared of men. But uh, she's uh, spayed, I believe. Yes, yeah, she's spayed, and she's looking for her forever home. She'd make a wonderful addition to any family. And here we have Deja. Deja's a pit blend. Um, Deja is not available for adoption. Deja came to us with some uh, kennel issues, and we're working on some behavioral issues with her, and we're coming along swimmingly, aren't we, Deja? Well, she's telling you all about it. So Deja, we don't know when she will become available, but she, her, her face is so pretty, we just had to get her in here for you. You tell them, Deja. <laughs> And here we have Hoover. Hoover came to us as through animal control. Um, he's not available for adoption. He was neutered by Purdue. He's just a puppy. We think he's about eight to ten months old, and he's just uh, pretty soon he'll be ready for his look for his forever home. Okay, here we have Beatrice. Beatrice is a beagle blend. Uh, Beatrice was also spayed by Purdue and looking for her forever home. Uh, she's a quiet little girl looking um, and does well with uh, uh, in any family situation. <laughs> <laughs> 